Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. In this lecture, we are going to discuss another important topic in symptomatology that is unintentional weight loss. You can download the PDF of this lecture from MediLectures app and if you want to revise all the major units of Harrison in 35 hours of video content, you can check out the revision videos which are currently priced at Rs 2000 only. Starting with the lecture, Involuntary or unintentional weight loss is frequently insidious and can have important implications often serving as a harbinger of serious underlying disease. Now clinically important weight loss is defined as the loss of 10 pounds which is equal to 4.5 kg or more than 5% of one's body weight over a period of 6 to 12 months. Considering the epidemiology, unintentional weight loss is encountered in up to 8% of adult outpatients and around 27% frail persons who are aged more than 65 years. Now there is no identifiable cause in up to 25% of the patients despite extensive evaluation. Also while investigating always keep in mind that some patients use this term as a non-specific symptom to get the attention of the doctor and have no documentation or evidence of weight loss. Weight loss specifically in older person have a variety of deleterious effects. These include falls and fractures, pressure ulcers, impaired immune function, decreased functional status and finally increase in mortality. Now before going to the causes of unintentional weight loss, we will discuss the physiology of weight regulation with aging in detail. So among healthy aging people, total body weight peaks around at 6th decade of life and generally remains stable till the ninth decade. After this, it gradually falls. In contrast, when we talk of lean body weight, which is fat free body weight, this begins to decline at a rate of 0.3 kg per year starting from third decade and this rate further increases with increasing age. These changes in lean body mass largely reflect the age dependent decrease in growth hormone leading to decreased IGF levels as well as decrease in sex steroids. Now age dependent changes also occurs at cellular level how the telomeres shorten and body cell mass which is fat free portion of cell also decreases. Now between 20 and 80 years of age mean energy intake or requirement by men decreases by 1200 kilocalorie per day and women by 800 kilo kilocalorie for, per day. For example, if a 20 year old man is consuming 2600 calories on an average, same 80 year old male will be consuming only 1400 kilocalorie. For women, it is around 2000 which reduces by 800 to 1200 kilocalorie in 80 year women. Now decreased hunger is a reflection of reduced physical activity and loss of lean muscle mass producing lower demand for calories and food intake. Now several age associated physiologic changes also predispose these elderly persons to weight loss such as there is decreased chemosensory function like smell and taste of food, decreased efficiency of chewing, slowed gastric emptying and altered neuroendocrine axis which include changes in hormones like leptin cholecystokinin, neuropeptide Y, etc. Now all these changes are associated with early satiety and decreased appetite and this is known as anorexia of aging. Coming on to the causes of unintentional weight loss. So most causes belong to one of the four major categories like malignant neoplasm which is responsible for around 25% of the cases, then chronic inflammatory or infectious diseases metabolic disorders like diabetes mellitus, hyperthyroidism and finally psychiatric disorders are also a very important cause. Now many a times a combination of these factors can be responsible. Now coming on to the individual causes, the greatest incident of weight loss is seen among patients with solid tumors like colon cancer, hepatobiliary cancer, lung cancer, breast cancer etc. Malignancy which presents with a significant weight loss usually has a very poor prognosis. In addition to malignancy, GI diseases are among the most prominent causes of unintentional weight loss, especially peptic ulcer disease, inflammatory bowel disease, pancreatitis, etc. 
when we consider endocrine and metabolic conditions hyperthyroidism and diabetes mellitus are very common hyperthyroidism in elderly can present with apathetic thyrotoxicosis in which weight loss is the presenting complaint of the patient diabetes mellitus by glycosuria can lead to significant weight loss and calo calorie loss now when we consider cardiac disorders and respiratory disorders in these disorders there is increased metabolic demand and decreased caloric intake which is responsible for weight loss renal insufficiency due to uremia has a decreased loss of appetite by the patient which is responsible rheumatological diseases and infections are chronic inflammatory states leading to weight loss there are several medications like sedatives antibiotics antipsychiatric drugs like ssri nsaids then metformin levodopa all these can lead to significant weight loss by various mechanisms now disorders of mouth and teeth then age related factors finally neurologic factors in which there is visceral and autonomic dysfunction that impairs calorie intake social factors like like poverty then psychiatric and behavioral factors like depression bereavement that is death of a near loved one alcoholism and finally in some cases there is none of the cause identified for weight loss and it is considered as idiopathic after we have discussed the causes in detail let's come on to the assessment of the patient so the four major manifestations of weight loss are anorexia that is loss of appetite sarcopenia that is loss of muscle mass cachexia this is a syndrome that combines weight loss loss of muscle loss of adipose tissue anorexia and weakness and finally dehydration now the current obesity epidemic adds complexity as excess adipose tissue can mask the development of sarcopenia and delay the awareness of development of cachexia initial assessment includes comprehensive history physical examination and investigations which we discuss in the coming slides along with that age sex and risk factor specific cancer screening test need to be conducted like mammography after 40 years and colonoscopy in high risk patients so what are the indications of uh, assessment of unintentional weight loss there is a clear set guidelines so if the patient is having 5% weight loss in last 30 days or 10% weight loss in 180 days then we have to assess this patient for weight loss if the patient is having bmi resultant bmi of less than 21 25% of food is left uneaten for 7 days there is change in fitting of clothing change in appetite smell or taste abdominal pain nausea vomiting diarrhea constipation along with weight loss then we will evaluate this pa patient for some organic cause now assessment includes complete physical examination including dental evaluation we have to review all the drugs of the patient we have to recommend, uh, recommend the cancer screen according to the age sex and specific risk factors then in elderly patients we have to specifically conduct mini mental status examination for dementia mini nutritional assessment nutritional screening initiative these are basically some questionnaires there is simplified nutritional assessment questionnaire we have to observe the pattern of eating we have to assess the activities of daily living and instrumental activities of daily living so these are some tools which can help us assess the patients of unintentional weight loss especially elderly initial lab test include cbc then liver function renal function test with electrolytes thyroid function test to rule out hyperthyroidism esr to rule out any chronic inflammatory or infectious condition similarly crp ferritin which are acute phase reactants hiv testing is required if indicated if the patient fits into the clinical picture radiology uh, initial radiologic investigations include radiography of chest and abdominal ultrasonography now specific investigations are also needed to be done based on the clinical judgment coming on to the last part of the lecture that is treatment so the first priority in managing weight loss is to identify and treat underlying causes treatment of underlying metabolic psychiatric infectious or other systemic disorders is usually sufficient to restore weight and functional status gradually now the medications that are causing nausea or anorexia should be withdrawn or changed if possible for those with unexplained unintentional weight loss high calorie dense energy drinks are prescribed 
एडवाइज पेशेंट टू कंज्यूम प्रोटीन सप्लीमेंट्स बिटवीन द मील्स एंड नॉट विद द मील्स टू अवॉइड अर्ली सेटाइटी फॉर वेस्टिंग एंड सार्कोपीनिया वी रिकमेंड एक्सरसाइज स्पेशली रेजिस्टेंस ट्रेनिंग इन सेलेक्टेड पेशेंट्स एंड एंटी डिप्रेसेंट दैट इज मिटाजापिन हैज रिजल्टेड इन सिग्निफिकेंट इंक्रीज इन बॉडी वेट बॉडी फैट एंड लेफ्ट इन कंसेंट्रेशन सो दिस इज हाउ वील ट्रीट द पेशेंट्स सिम्टोमेटिकली बेसिकली ट्रीटमेंट विल जस्ट फोकस ऑन आइडेंटिफाइंग एंड ट्रीटिंग द अंडरलाइंग कॉजेज दैट विल टेक केयर ऑफ अन इंटेंशनल वेट लॉस ऑटोमेटिकली सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द लेक्चर गाइज आई होप यू लाइक दिस लेक्चर थैंक यू सो मच